Yeah, I think those are great points. And and John, if you wanted to to jump in, just... yeah. I, first of all, just to reiterate what Rosa has said in terms of uh, it's been wonderful to actually uh, take this opportunity to uh, to to be in contact with our colleagues around the world. Um, if I if I can just pull it back to this word technology, I think it means different things to different people. And uh, if I speak personally, I think it's been an opportunity. I was just actually brainstorming a, a list of the apps that uh, Gabrielle mentioned. And and uh, I think two years ago, I don't know if I was sort of fully proficient in WhatsApp and Skype and Microsoft Teams and Zoom and every other thing. But I think also technology means different things to different people based on what they have, what they can use and what's available to them. And, and I've been really interested to see different projects in different parts of the world where teachers are just looking at what they've got as tools in terms of technology and how they can best use those, whether it's just WhatsApp, whether it's Telegram, whether it's the whole Microsoft Teams and Zoom element. It's really been a, a success story in this key word that I think we associate, I associate with all English language teachers, creativity. And teachers have shown such creativity in actually finding the appropriate technology that's enabled them to continue their professional development. And that's where we've been involved as, as the two organizations, but then actually the appropriate technology that they can share, they can uh, pass on their, that they're learning to their students. So it's, it's, it's all back to that word tech or that phrase appropriate technology.